to y'all, you know, y'all know I'm big on words. You got to watch the play on words. Words. You got to watch the play on words. Watch them. Now, number five. Let's get to number five. Let's, let's, let's dig in number five some. Number five says you can't help people that are not willing to do what it takes to get help. How many of y'all see action in that? I do. Where do you see action? You got to move. It says take. Take is usually the word. You have to really just say, okay, if this is what you're going to do, you're going to have to take control of it. You're going to have to really actively do it. So basically, what that's saying is, is when I do something, the opportunity opens up. We got it backwards. We think opportunity is supposed to open up and then we do something. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know we think like that? We think that the opportunity is supposed to open and then we move. No, the opportunity opens up because you moved. You moved. So you fix your credit. So the opportunity opens up for you to own a home. The opportunity for you to own a home didn't open and then you go and fix your credit. Because if you go to them with that unfixed credit, what are they what 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 is the bank gonna tell you? You need to fix your credit. Hey, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So then you did the steps and the opportunity opened up. We got it backwards. We got it backwards. You do the steps and then the opportunity present itself. Let me tell y'all something. No one is going to allow you to sit there and be useless. When you have what is needed. Hear what I said to you. No one is going to allow you. To be useless. When you have. What is needed. If a person knows. Man. Man Daphne. You know. Daphne got. Daphne know how to do such and such and such and such. I don't care how much I sit in this house. They're going to find some kind of way to get to me. Because I have what is needed. If you have what is needed, the opportunity will come. You can't be somebody that know how to do taxes. And don't nobody call on you to do taxes. Just because they know you know how to do it. Boom, there's an opportunity. Uh, I would say it's past time to be even. I have to watch myself now, which is probably why you don't, I didn't seize a lot of opportunity or things I know how is because it means that people are going to demand your your attention or your service whenever you, you're not at your own leisure anymore. It is a supply and demand and people will, you have to be ready when they need you. Yeah, but the best part about it is, is you get to determine what you yield out of the opportunity you give them. If you give an opportunity to someone, you get to make a decision based off of what you want to yield out of it. I give you an example. I ain't coming unless you give me twenty dollars an hour. See, I just set that standard. You get I'm giving you the opportunity. You're giving me the reward or the gifting, the gift for it. 
I remember doing a teaching several years ago with y'all at Tram, showing you how your gift is supposed to take care of you. Based on scripture, how that thing will take care of you. Because it gives opportunity. It literally, we quit the quote, oh, it'll bring you before great people. Those are people that want their name to be known and want image. That's not what it's talking about in the context of what the gift does. The gift gives the gift is allowed to express itself and is known among great people because they won't mind taking care of it. They won't mind patronizing it. Where are your opportunities? This is the year of the opportunity. Where are your opportunities? But opportunity is not going to show up for you if one. You can't help people that don't want to be helped. It's not going to show up, number two. You can't help people that don't want to be helped by you. Number three, you can't help people that don't want to be helped yet. Number four, you can't help people that don't want to help, that don't want help that comes through you. Number five, you can't help people that's not willing to do what it takes to get help. All of those are missing opportunity moments. All of those will cause you to miss opportunities. So opportunity is sitting there. Are we going to just leave it there? Mentality has to shift. Trim, mentality has to shift. mentality has to shift. Opportunities are people that don't mind moving. That don't mind moving. I'm going to say to y'all again, if you are in a place where you think you done tapped out and life is at the best it could be for you and you got the best of everything, I'm sorry for you. Because there is a whole lot more. And there is more that you don't even have to struggle to have. Yeah, I said it to you. There is more and there is more that you don't even have to struggle to have. Some of y'all are afraid of things because you 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 scared. You go, I'm going to have to struggle to get that. I'm going to have to struggle to get that. No, you don't. No, you don't. It doesn't have to come with a struggle. Why should it come with a struggle? If you are a, first of all, believer, one. Number two, if you are faithful and diligent in doing the things that the Lord instructs to do, especially like giving and all, if you are faithful in that, what? where is your struggle? Where is the struggle? Where is the, I, come on, I'm going to mess with y'all head today. I got to. Where is the struggle in that? He said that the ones that did not give would be the ones that was cursed. So if I'm giving correctly, am I supposed to be under the curse? Y'all talk to me. Am I, am I under the curse if I'm giving correctly? No, no. Okay then. So where is the struggle? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be no struggle. So if you think that 
Oh, it's just the struggle is real, and I'm sorry for you. If you think that God don't have more than what you have right now for you, if you don't think that, then I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you, seriously, because there is more. So if you think, you know, a couple, couple, you know, two, three dollars here and there, what have you, but hey, I'm sorry for you. There's a whole lot more that God would love for you to have. At some point in your life, you should desire to be at a place as to where, you know, the world is at your disposal. So this defeated mentality is what I'm is what I'm targeting. This defeated mentality is what I'm targeting. I'm targeting the mentality that does not allow y'all to see the full scope of what it is that Christ will have for you. That, you know, the mentality of I'm giving because I'm scared, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be cursed. And no, you should not want to be cursed. You shouldn't, but you should be giving and you should be doing it in a faithful context because this is what opens opportunities for me. He says, will I not open unto you the window of heaven? That's what he said, y'all. I'm going to say it to you again. Will I not open unto you, unto you? Unto you, will I not open unto you the window of heaven, he says. I will cause things to happen for you. You are not part of the drought. I will cause opportunities to find their way to you. Expansions will have to come to you. They will have to do certain things for you that they don't normally do. They will have to discount it for you when they don't normally want to discount it. Because why? I open the window of heaven for you. And I poured, 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 which is nothing but opportunities. Heaven consists of nothing but opportunities. Heaven consists of opportunities. Heaven consists of opportunities. Get your mindset out of the place of thinking. Heaven is the place where, you know, my mama, my sister, and all these, you know, these people that have passed on. Yes, 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 yes. But to be honest with you, the Bible says they're in a holding chamber. If you want to really know the truth, if we just really talk Bible and talk details, come on, y'all. It says it will be after the judgment where the decision will be made as to where we go. So there's really like a holding chamber, even though we say they're up in heaven. Let's be realistic and talk the truth about it. Heaven is about opportunity. Opportunities. Heaven is about opportunities. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Y'all ain't hearing me this morning, is you? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. As it is where? Okay, somebody say it for me again. As where? In heaven. Okay, then. So then that means that heaven has opportunities that earth needs, right? Absolutely. Okay. Heaven has opportunities that earth needs. That was powerful. So... Let's get the truth, the whole context. I told y'all society done messed us up. People are in a holding pattern, baby. is in a holding pattern. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Uh-huh. It is a, the judgment. And then we will, it will be decided where we go up or down. That's why he said they're asleep. But the cognitive mind has been manipulated. It has been deceived into all of this crazy, frivolous thinking. So to the point that it has literally caused heaven to not be seen in the context of which it needs to be seen in. 
Heaven is the place where opportunities dwell. 